Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. So if you've ever wondered if those budget cutting stones on Amazon are any good, well today we're going to find out. And remember guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase this sharpening stone, make sure you check out the link in the description below. All right, here is a closer look at the Keen Best combination sharpening stone. I have 400 grit on this side and 1000 on the bottom. I like this combination. The way that I use my knives, maybe I'll get a chip in it. I'll start running it across the 400. That will be enough to get the chip out. And then the 1000 is enough to polish. Now you can spend like anything else, however much you want on sharpening stones. And they're, they're going to do a better job. They're going to last longer. They're probably going to polish a lot better because there's no industry standard as to what a 400 and a 1000 grit is. But I have years and years of experience on these types of budget stones and they always work out pretty good. The main thing to remember is so long as you don't really damage your edge, as long as you hone your blade, right? After every usage, you hone it to bring those edges that might be like this back into point and apex. You should really never have to use the 400 side it's really all about just touching it up with the 1000 and if you've never sharpened the knife on a stone before let me show you what to look for when you're sharpening all right here is the knife we are going to be sharpening but it still has a pretty good edge i've had this knife now oh this is my mom's she's had it since the 1970s uh so i've had it for at least 40 years this is the paring knife she still is uh using the chef knife but still has a pretty decent edge on it but we're gonna just try to touch it up a little bit more and uh, the first thing I want to point out here is where to sharpen, all right? So this is the flat of the blade here. And you can see how there's a shiny portion right down here. That is the edge. That's where we need to sharpen. Now, the thing about a sharpening stone is you are responsible for holding the correct angle to sharpen that edge. On sharpening devices that hold the blade, it's got it at the right angle and it, it sets the angle for you. And all you're doing is kind of rubbing the stone across it. There's many different techniques like this. But with a stone, you are responsible for holding that angle. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, before getting started, just a quick note on selecting what grit to get for your sharpening stone. Now, you can get them in a combination stone like this or separate. Just remember, again, you can spend as much as you want. That's totally up to you. But you do not have to get every single grit in between, let's say, 400 to 1,000 to get a really sharp edge. It's just not needed. Now, you can if you want to. They go all the way down to 80, all the way up to like 10, 20, 30,000 for a super polish. But I can guarantee you that your return on investment is going to shrink the higher you go. Now, for me, like I was mentioning, you know, I hone my blades enough, so I don't really need anything that aggressive unless... I really do some damage to my edge and then I might need something a little bit coarser than 400 to get that chip off. For in general, I think most people can get by with the 400 to 1000. All right, here we go. So if we look at the knife edge as it's sitting on the stone, we don't want to sharpen it when it's like this because there's a space between the stone and the edge. So as soon as that line starts to disappear, here, let me go a little bit closer, right about there, that's when we're going to start stroking this across a stone. So again, we don't want to be here, right? We don't want to be too steep like that. So the way to do it is kind of lay it on the flat and just kind of crank it up till that line disappears there. Right about there. And if you're still kind of iffy about the angle, I got one last trick for you. All right, we're going to find our edge. Get a pen, permanent marker pen. And we're just going to stripe the edge. Mark it. And we're going to mark it on this side too. Oop, missed that one. All right, here we go. Now, as we're holding our angle, it should grind away the black portion. So we're going to know if we're too high or if we're too steep, it's not going to be taking off anything. So let's get started sharpening. All right, so we have our edge marked up for sharpening. And just a quick comment on using techniques like this. It's fine, guys. You know, I'm not a professional knife maker or sharpener or a chef that requires my knife to be sharpened all the time or an outdoorsman. So in order to help us, using something like this, it's okay. In fact, if you want to kind of come down eye level, set your angle and sharpen this way, you can absolutely do that. Just be careful not to cut yourself. But what we're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be 
putting the blade down, I'm going to brace it like this, and I'm going to cut across this way. All right. Some people go back and forth. You can do that. I prefer to go across this way. Let's get a little bit of water here. I'm on the thousand side, thousand grit side, because I'm not trying to take off too much metal. Just want to try to touch that edge up a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to get it down on here. And okay, that feels about right to me. I'm feeling that angle with my finger as well. So that feels pretty good. I'm just going to come across. Okay, not putting much pressure on it. We'll do one more and have a look at the uh, the markings. Okay. So we can see the top half on the flat is still there, but I'm hitting that edge pretty good. All right, let's see if I can get you guys a better angle to show you what I'm doing here, all right? So we're gonna start just a little bit on the flat and then we're gonna rise it. Oh, that's about right. I'm gonna feel with my fingers to see if there's a space between the edge and the stone. That feels pretty good. And then we're just going to draw across, All right? I'm not pushing down real hard. I'm just using these fingers to keep it on plane, keep it on angle. And I'm just going at a moderate pace, right? You don't have to rip it across. Here comes the other side, all right? Again, just going to put my fingers down on here, start on the flat, tilt it up a little bit. That feels about right. Go across that way. Okay, that's nice. And we'll go three. All right, let's see how we did. All right, let's have a look at how we did here, and I'm going to slant this over so we can see the edge. There we go. You see that nice silver line in contrast to the black ink on the top? So I'm catching that edge just perfectly. I might be able to kind of bring it down a little bit. I might be a little bit too steep, but we can see it's taken off the edge there. And let's check the other side. All right, there we go. Catching it just about right. Guys, it's that easy to get a great edge. All right, let's have a look at our work here. Pretty good. Again, sharpening stone, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get really great results. It just takes a little bit of practice. And with those training aids I gave you, you're going to be fine. All right, guys, that's the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase this sharpening stone by Keen Best, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.